Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Capricorn. This reading is for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Pisces. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the full moon message for Pisces? Hi, Pisces. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are a regular, I love you. Oh. Patiently waiting for the one that you love. Wondering, like, when will they come? This is a feeling of loneliness, you know, and not feeling hopeful. Mm. Is that what's going on? I don't know. I'll tell you right now. Spirit's telling you to release that. Mm. Okay. What else, Spirit? Pisces. What is this about? Mm. Somebody wants payback. Yeah, somebody wants payback because... Things didn't go their way. As a matter of fact, they got worse. Ten of Wands. Mm. Somebody's just at the end of their wits with a soulmate. With a relationship. It, it's just too much. Yeah. This is very clear. The end. That's what I felt. The world card comes. <laughs> Tell me more, spirit. Mm. And a new opportunity also comes. Okay. So, Pisces, payback, justice here, payback as a result of a lot of turbulence, um, just difficulties, challenges. Uh, you see that now. Mm -hmm. Challenges in love um, really brought sadness to you, to them, but you know... <laughs> Everything changes. And I think this new moon brings in a change. Something tangible. Something you can see, touch. Something that helps. Um, even if that change just involves you changing your mental state at this time. I see that um, that could be what comes in the end of this month. You release this worry and concern about this soulmate. Um, spirit will take care of justice. You know karma. What you do, it comes right back to you. So you don't have to carry that burden. I see things changing because the Ten of Wands brings an ending. And... Behind every ending is a new beginning. And Spirit wants you to focus on this new beginning. Now let's look at this new beginning. You know, getting clear about wanting a new beginning. Maybe you had to be... Okay, so right here, Spirit is telling me the past. You had to go through that because it made you wiser. You see the owl? Yeah, it made you wiser. But now... These challenges also taught you a lot to prepare you for where you're headed. And and look how mature you are. You know, you have been growing so much, Pisces. He <laughs> said that this year, I know I've been saying it all the time because it's true. It's like wisdom, um, clarity, intellectually, you're just advancing quite nicely and understanding awakening. It's spiritual. Look at the birds all around you too. Yeah, this is very good. It's like now that a new cycle is coming, the end of the month reminds you 
to let go of any anxiety, sadness. Guard your thoughts concerning the past, this past soulmate. Guard your thoughts because they shouldn't go into the future with you. You shouldn't bring the same energy. If that is it, you in fact, pay back. God will take care of that. Focus. The King of Swords is very focused on their next step. They're clear. They communicate what they want to do and accomplish to themselves every morning. They affirm their self every morning, you know, and you're aware of why you had to go through the past to get to where you're headed in the future. The world says you've completed something successfully. After all these challenges, it made you the King of Swords more mature and uh, deeper understanding and awakening of why you had to go through certain things. And now it prepares you for the world. You know, the world is a successful completion so that something new can begin. The Page of Wands starts off small, but, you know, slow and steady, I'm being told. Um, and the messages that you tell yourself should continue. They should be focused on where you're heading, your new adventure. And the Page of Wands loves adventures. You know, they throw caution to the wind and they just pursue something new. They're excited about starting over. And you know, after challenges, look how zen you are. Very calm, very cool, very collected. Um, self-assured, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the king of swords, he is very calm, cool, and collective, very zen. And his sword is not raised, you know, meaning he is in a calm plative state, a complative state. Yeah, you could be contemplating this new adventure and it's getting you excited and that's what spirit wants you to focus on after you release this anxiety, this sadness. Your perspective is changing. Pisces, you appear. <laughs> you know, the hangman is someone who has the awareness to isolate their self. Like they're aware that they need to take time to be alone, to isolate, to get deep, to be very clear, um, to bring understanding to what their next step is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, this maturity, this is growth. You know, the hangman actually imposes um, solitude so that they can be introspective. That's what I see you doing here. And that's what works. <laughs> that's why you're so cool, calm, and collected moving into the future. Because you took the time, right, to do the work needed to let go of the past, focus, regroup, spend time alone. And that's what also the uh, waning gibbous moon is. But today is the waxing gibbous moon, right? But it doesn't matter. It's all about refocus, reset. Um, resetting your intentions, right? Making the necessary adjustments. Yeah, that's what the waning gibbous moon is all about. And so spirit's saying, well, let go of this. Hit reset, make your adjustments because this new cycle is coming in. It's exciting, it's adventurous. And yes, that's why we have a full moon to let go of anything that doesn't need to go forward with us. Yeah, and this Nine of Swords, oh heck no. Mm hmm. Ace of Swords, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I feel that 
you were very anxious because you didn't understand why certain things were happening in love. Why you had to wait for love. Why you had to be patient. Why you had to experience negative love to get to where you are now. All these challenges in love. Mm. Some of you feel love's been very unfair to you. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason, right? Some people uh, were envious, jealous of you. You know, there is a multitude of reasons for why people do what they do and why those challenges are brought to us. But the main reason is to grow us. The King of Swords and the Hangman. That's you, Pisces. That's you. And, you know, f coming from an unclear situation on why certain things had to happen, why you are waiting, now you understand that. This current energy, which prepares you for what's coming in the future. Tell me about this Page of Wands. Future energy. More. Thank you, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, Four of Wands, shut up, Pisces, look what's coming in. So this full moon completes the cycle and Spirit is very happy with you. You're feeling good. Um, you're feeling happy. And your, your cup is filled up. It's like you're radiating. There's overflow. You know, people are, you're hanging out more, socializing, engaging. Ooh, people like you. They love this energy about you. They see you in a new way. You guys are doing things differently, though. Not the same old thing. I don't know what this is, but you're excited. You feel good. You're ready to embark upon something new. And, you know, when you are radiating as the Nine of Cups and your cup is running over, Look what happens. Boom. And you're very zen, right? You're cool, calm, and collective. The lovers comes in. <laughs> Love always going to stir it up, isn't it? 1212 when I said that. Yeah, the lovers comes in because you're very zen. You're, you're happy. You're feeling good. After this big awakening, this boost of clarity, you know, letting go of the past by the end of this month. Whew, I think it's the 29th. It is. And it's a full moon in Aries. Having the power. Stepping into your power. Oh, my God. There's that growth again. That's what I see, Pisces. It's like, mm, very attractive. It's very attractive. This whole thing in the future... Brings that lover right to you, baby, because your cup is full and it's the presentation is nice. It's like you're just, you're outward, which is different for you because, you know, you can be very inward. Um, you can be very introverted and you're extroverted now and um, you're telling jokes, you're hanging out and you're doing different things, new things. It's exciting. It's adventurous. A lot of um, opening up. That's what's attracting this lover. They see you and boom, you two get pretty serious with the four of wands here. You get pretty serious with them pretty quickly. It could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to. It could be Leo, Aries, or Sag. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Could be anybody. I'm, I don't know the sign, but I know that love is in the cards for you, in your future, in your immediate future. Mm. Love always comes with a choice. Okay, spirit. That's what he just said. And that's why he wants you in the right frame of mind. This nine of swords had to go. The ace of swords reversed. Something wasn't clear. That's why. And you, you were so mature. You self-imposed time alone with you in spirit. So that you could get a deeper understanding of the past. 
take the lesson and leave the pain. You are so smart. Look at you. I love it. But look, the four of wands. It's like the lovers and then the four of wands. That's pretty quick. I mean, things take off. Oof. <laughs> Tell me, why is this lovers and the four of wands? Yeah, you got the night. You, because of this, I'm telling you, Pisces, because of you allowing spirit to work with you, to awaken you spiritually, to bring you some clarity, courage, confidence, that's why you become happier. This cycle ends and you're happy. You look happy. You're acting happy. You're attracting happy. You're hanging out. You're doing things. You're throwing caution to the wind and bam. Love comes and knocks right in. This is a serious kind of love, though. This is what you've been waiting for. What? I love this. Oh, my goodness. Tell me more about this love. The future, the end of September. October is going to be hot. Didn't I say that your love life is in fluid Influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is a spiritual change here. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find new love. Because you're flying on a different plane. Right? You're not operating under the same old dead energy where soulmates are concerned. And that's your justice. You know, that's your justice. That you're mature enough to let go of the past and replace it with something new. Not let the past define your future. That's you. What? That's you accepting what spirit's telling you. The guidance. Look what you stumble right up on. <laughs> the lovers. Oh, my God. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for Pisces under this full moon regarding the two of cups, the lovers, and the four of wands? What is it, Spirit? Tell me. Any? I know. Tell me. What is it? What is it on um, bottom? Unrequited love. Yeah, in the beginning, it was. That's why you were anxious. I would even go so far as to say your last relationship didn't end well. No, it didn't end well. Because, you know, for you, yeah. Mm. And you didn't think that your future would go well. But tell me about Pisces future love. Tell me about Pisces future love spirit. What is it? Tell me about Pisces' future love. Yeah, the past was definitely unrequited. And that's why, didn't I say you're going to be lighthearted, getting to know? That's all this hanging out. That's all this hanging out. Because you put yourself out there and you have a new frame of mind. You're happy. You're jovial, telling jokes. Just being your loving self and people like hanging out with you yes you're shining that cup is full and there's overflow obviously because you attract somebody mm -hmm. just by being playful just by loving you first you attract the one damn you're good Pisces, the end. When it comes to love, whatever you're doing, the end of the month, that helps you put the past in the past and move confidently into the future like October here. <laughs> yes. I mean, look out for the one. That's what I want to say. I mean, this looks like the one. And why do you say that, Moody? Because the lovers is you finally make a right choice. You made the wrong choice in the past, but you make a right choice and things move quickly. You two, you know, make a commitment to each other. You could even live together quickly. I don't know why, but this moves quickly. And I hope if it moves quickly, Pisces, you know, don't live together. If they love you that much, if it's that much, then you know what? Let them marry you. 
I'm just going to leave it there a little old fashioned. Okay. Let's pray on this because I want this to happen for you. I see this in the cards. So let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment, share the video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and until the next moon phase, namaste.